What up guys? Welcome to the channel. It's Joe Chris TV. That's me. Make sure before we get started, I want you guys to like this video. I'm gonna give you five seconds like that. D-A-B, I'm gonna give you five seconds to like this video. Five, four, three, two, one, boom! Like the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not. If you're new here, welcome. Hope you enjoy the video and let's get into it. It's Easter. Today is a very special day. And this is the first video I've actually dropped on the actual day. So, I'm pretty hyped. Easter is going down today, guys. So today's Easter and we're gonna do an Easter taste test. But, wait, where's the food? Video magic. But wait, Joker's TV, you forgot about Bunny Chris. Oh, you're right, guys. Um, so throughout the video, we're gonna get a visit from Bunny Chris, and Bunny Chris is gonna be telling us uh, the story of Peter the Rabbit. So, look forward to that. These are all the weird Easter flavored items that I could find. Um, not a huge selection, but I'm excited to do the taste test because these sound pretty weird. So let's show you what you got, what we got, what we got. First one is Peeps Delight dipped in chocolate. Let me see if you guys see that. And after that, we got Peeps Fruit Punch. I'm excited about that because that looks like really weird. It might taste weird. Uh, thirdly, thirdly is a word. We got Peeps Oreo. That looks weird. Looks like it'll taste weird too. That's interesting. And lastly, lastly is a word. We have Sour Marshmallows from the dollar store. <laughs> I found this in the Easter section. Yeah, I guess they couldn't really use the Peeps meme, so then we got here a dog, a little chicky chick, a uh, green bunny, and a blue bunny. So that's what we got in this package from the dollar store. Shout out to Lisa Kosher. Couple water here, so I don't die. There's a lot of sugar to intake, and let's get it. <laughs> Hey yo, what's good kiddies? It's story time. Today we're gonna be reading the tale of Peter Rabbit. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. Once upon a time, there were four rabbits, and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. Now my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit. Now my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit. You may go into the fields or down the lane. But don't go into Mr. Gregory's garden. Your father had an accident there. He was put in a pie by Mrs. Gregory. Wait, hold up, wait, what? Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who were good little bunnies, went down the lane to gather blackberries. But Peter, who was very naughty, knocked it, ran straight away to Mr. Gregory's garden and squeezed under the gate. Hey, okay, first one. I think I already know the order I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in Peeps Delight and Sour Marshmallows. Because these two sound interesting. This sounds like it's probably going to taste good. So let's start off with something good. And these sound like they're going to taste horrible. So we'll get that out the way in the second round. But let's start with something fresh. Good. That's probably going to be good. So Peeps Delight Marshmallows. Um... Is there a fun fact that we're doing there? There's a bunch right now. Nope, nothing. Satisfaction guaranteed. Alright, so let's get into these. Mix a little. I want to try it. Don't worry guys, these are not going to go to waste. Uh, I'm going to put them out in the fridge. Somebody will eat them. Or I'll probably eat them. Because this looks mad good. Guys, look at that. You see that? Look at the peak. And look at the bottom. It's all chocolate. It's chocolate. Mike, Mike, Mike. Alright, so let's try you, peep. Alright, guys, comment down below. You go head first or you go booty first? Eh, uh, I'm a booty type of guy. Yeah, pretty much what I thought it tastes like. <laughs> Peep and chocolate. <laughs> I mean, it's really not bad. There's a 
lot of sugar though. Uh, let's move on. That I would give for well, something. We have mainly pizza. I'm gonna give that. Mmm. I mean, the aftertaste is still lingering in my mouth. So that kind of affects the score right now. Tastes, tastes weird. Uh, I'm gonna give that a 2P out of 5. They really like it. The aftertaste is not weird. It's like maybe chocolate, but they still have like the marshmallow bits in the tea. So yeah. Uh, shove that back in there. Somebody will eat that. Uh, water to cleanse the palate. <clears throat> okay, so we got that out the way. Let's try these, which is the sour marshmallows. These were a dollar. Okay, we have a little doggy right here. And we have a little chicky. And then we have the green bun and the blue bun. Mm. Yeah, let's try it. So I'm gonna eat the doggy. Let's eat the dog. Let's eat the dog. Okay. <laughs> Let's not eat the dog. <laughs> it sounded so wrong. And this is the little puppy. Look at the little puppy. Um, this smells like marshmallow. Don't really smell any sour. It's weird. It smells more marshmallowy than the peeps. Hey, let me just get a second. Wow, that sounds like chocolate. I can't really compare. All right, let's try this. Again, guys, head first or butt first? I'm a butt man. Mm. There's nothing sour about this. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would be like, you know, interesting. It's just marshmallow. It's the same thing as a pea. There's nothing sour about it. Ugh. Yeah, great. Now I have more marshmallow. Rating that on a five. I mean, it's just a regular peeps. So I say three. Three peeps out of five peeps. That would go. I mean, it didn't have the offset of chocolate, so that's why I got higher rating. All right, let's get it. Should we do the Oreo or the fruit punch? Well, I've had so many peeps that think I'm gonna go Oreo. So let's try this Oreo, please. First, he ate some lettuce, and some French beans, and then he ate some radishes. And then, feeling rather sick, he went to look for some parsley. But around the end of a cucumber frame, whom he met but Mr. McGregor. Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees, planting out young cabbages. But he jumped up and ran after Peter, waving a rake and calling out, Stop, thief! Peter was mostly dreadfully frightened. He rushed over to the garden, for he had forgotten the way back to the gate. He lost one of his shoes among the cabbages and the other shoe among the potatoes. After losing them, he ran on four legs and went faster, so that I think he might have got away altogether if he had not unfortunately run into a gooseberry net and got caught by the large buttons on his jacket. It was a blue jacket with brass buttons, quite new. Peter gave himself up for loss and shed big tears, but his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows who flew to him in great excitement and implored him to exert himself. Mr. McGregor came up with a sieve, which he intended to pop upon the top of Peter. But Peter wriggled out just in time, leaving his jacket behind him. Oh, yo. That looks gross. <laughs> yo, it, it looks like Oreo. And then in the middle, it looks like, like Play-Doh. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that so close. But look at it. It's like Oreo on top, bottom. And then the stuffing looks like, the filling looks like Play-Doh. Like. Smells like Oreo, but like extra sugar, which I guess this really is. Hmm. The Marshmallow Peeps flavor cream. But it looks like, 
Play-Doh. Looks like Play-Doh, right guys? Yeah, I swear they got me eating Play-Doh. Oh, look at the cute outside. Look, this little bunny. Oh, that, that was Oreo. <laughs> that was Oreo. And there's a little bunny on the other side. It's so cute. I'm gonna eat you now. That has to be the longest chew you've ever seen. <laughs> um, I mean, it just tastes like an Oreo cookie, honestly. I don't really taste. Let me just let me take it apart and look at. Cause that's the only way you know what really is something is if you lick it. So I'm licking. Oh, there's like some crunchy bits in it. Um, it's just, I mean, it tastes like frosting. Not exactly like frosting. It has a consistency. Consistency. It has a consistency of the frosting. Or the filling. It has crunchy bits, which is weird. Like, what's the crunchy bit part? Is that supposed to be the peak flavor? Cause it just tastes like regular filling. Oh God, I'm gonna die. <coughs> ah. Oh God, there's enough licking for me. <laughs> oh, it tastes like regular filling with crunchy bits. My crunchy bits are like. Uh, maybe that's supposed to be like the marshmallow. The you know, thick marshmallow on the outside of peeps. Maybe that's what it is. Nah, not even too special. I mean, Oreos are good any day. I give this maybe like a um. I say three, three, three peeps out of five peeps for the Oreo peeps. And lastly, we got the Fruit Punch Peeps. The Fruity Punchy. And rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can. It would have been a beautiful thing to hide in if it had not had so much water in it. Mr. McGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere in the tool shed, perhaps hidden under a flower pot. He began to turn them over carefully, looking under each. Presently, Peter sneezed, Kachu! Mr. McGregor was after him in no time and tried to put his foot upon Peter, who jumped out of the window, upsetting three plants. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor, and he was tired of running after Peter. He went back to his work. Peter sat down to rest. He was out of breath and trembling with fright, and he had not the least idea which way to go. Also, he was very damp with sitting in that can. After a time, he began to wonder about going lippity lippity, not very fast, and looking all around. He found a door in the wall. But it was locked, and there was no room for a fat little rabbit to squeeze underneath. An old mouse who was running in and out over the stone doorstep, carrying peas and beans to her family in the woods. Peter asked her to wait at the gate, but she had such a large pea in her mouth that she couldn't answer. She only shook her head at him. Peter began to cry. Then, he tried to find his way straight across the garden, but he became more and more puzzled. Presently, he came to a pond where Mr. Gregor fills his water cans. A white cat was staring at some goldfish. She sat very, very still. But now and then, the tip of her tail twitched as if it were alive. Peter thought it best to go away without speaking to her. He had heard about cats from his cousin, little Benjamin Bunny. He went back towards the tool shed, but suddenly, quite close to him, he heard the noise of a hoe. Peter scuttered underneath the bushes, but presently, as nothing happened, he came out and climbed upon the wheelbarrow and peeped over. The first thing he saw was Mr. McGregor hoeing onions. His back was turned towards Peter, and beyond him was the gate. Peter got down, very quietly off the wheelbarrow, started running as fast as he could along the straight walk behind some black currant bushes. Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner, but Peter did not care. He slipped underneath the gate and was safe at last in the woods outside the garden. 
Mr. McGregor hung up the little jacket and the shoes for a scarecrow to frighten the blackbirds. So mean. Peter never stopped running or looked behind him till he got home to the big fir tree. He was so tired that he flopped down upon a nice soft sand on the floor of the rabbit hole and shut his eyes. His mother was busy cooking, so he wondered what he had done with his clothes. It was his second little jacket and pair of shoes that Peter had lost in a fortnight. I am sorry to say that Peter was not well during the evening. His mother put him to bed and made him some caramel tea, and she gave him a dose of it to Peter. One tablespoon to be taken at bedtime, but Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail had bread and milk and blackberries for supper. Poor Peter. So let's get this baby open, and this will be the last place to have for it. Wow, I completely, totally failed that opening. <laughs> that is good job. They gotta see the fruit punch peeps. Wait, first, hold on. Yo, <laughs> no lie, that smells exactly like fruit punch. Like if you got some fruit punch, like tropical punch Kool-Aid, I don't think they got fruit punch. But if you got some Kool-Aid and you mix that together, you make it, that's exactly what it, it smells like a powder. Oh, man. This is gonna be great. Got like cleanser because I got nothing but frosting and filling in my mouth. Boys. Alright, let's tail on the pot. Little, little red pee 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 red pee pee. Fuck you. Again, guys, always start with the booty. Wow. Wow. This is crazy, guys. Okay. I take Kool-Aid powder, right? And then you make it a little marshmallowy. That's exactly what this tastes like. Like the dust on the outside tastes like Kool-Aid powder and just kind of dissolves in your mouth. Wait, in my mouth, right? Look at that, guys. This is crazy. It tastes like a fruit punch marshmallow. It's <laughs> oh, the like, I'm even going in for another bite. Like, I don't mind this. It's crazy. This is, this is a weird peep. <laughs> like, why would you make this? Like, why would you even think about making this? I mean, I guess there's a lot of companies we ask that about. But, I mean, I wouldn't eat too much of this. Because it's still nothing but sugar. But, yeah. That was surprising. It was like surprisingly actually kind of good. I wouldn't eat that regularly, but if somebody handed me one, I'd be like, all right, cool. Probably still wouldn't eat all of it because that's a bunch of diabetes. <laughs> we don't want to go anyway, uh, that one I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give it a four out of five because surprisingly it wasn't that bad. Like it wasn't like, yeah, I gotta throw it back. All right, guys, that's it for the taste test. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed story time from Chris Bunny. I want to take, take the time out to thank you for educating the kitties out there about Easter and Peter Rabbit. And just, you know, teaching them values for their life. Uh, congratulations, Fruit Punch Peach. You're the winner. Clap it up for you. You did a great job. All you other people, I mean, y'all just playing games. And you're just disgusting. Um, so yeah, <laughs> stay tuned. Keep watching. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to me. And make sure you guys comment down below any ideas for any other videos you got. Stay chill. Good vibes. We out, baby. Say you never turn my back. Now they gonna turn the back. Zero to the snatch on. I'm never mind the snow back.